As you already saw on my channel, I published multiple videos about uh, Jeremy's SMS plugin, which I think is the most up-to-date and the most dynamic uh, plugin out there. Jeremy is investing lots of time into this plugin, generating new features, new updates. It's very, very cool. So today I'm happy that uh, we have uh, Jeremy with us and he's going to present what's coming next on the SMS plugin. So Jeremy, thank you very, very much for coming to this session today. Thanks for having me, Leo. Yeah, very excited Fantastic. about the, the updates that we've got released now. One of the, the biggest ones is a mobile app. You can see here on my screen, a lot of people have been asking for the ability to be able to reply to a message on their phones. Everybody know your SMS plugin, the one that you can communicate with people online using the desktop application, but yeah. how the mobile app is connecting to the desktop abilities. So what happens is after you've set up the desktop app, you can then download this mobile app. You log in with your Zoho CRM account and then it will sync all of your leads and contacts so that you don't have to worry about adding these contacts to your personal phone book. And then you're, you're able to search for a contact. Got it. So it's also syncing your contacts to yeah. the mobile app automatically. Yeah, that's right. That's it cool. will sync the SMS history and then you can send out a message here. Is it syncing only the, the contacts that sent or received SMS or it will sync all your contacts from Zoho CRM? It will sync all of them. So you can, you can basically, you can sync your contacts, click on the contact and send him a text message the same way that you are doing it from your messages app on your phone. Yeah, that's right. When the, the, the text message is coming in, is it, can it be like uh, defined in the notification of the phone? For example, if to have a noise, like this beep or just a banner? Yeah, it does make a beep. It's not playing right now because I've got my, my iPad connected up to <clears throat> my computer, but normally it'll make the default SMS notification sound. Got it, got it, got it. But it okay. is possible. Yeah, it, it makes a sound on my iPad like beep. Exactly, exactly. Now, this application, is it coming with the subscription, the $30 a month that you're charging on the, on the plugin or is there additional fee for this application? This one has required a lot of additional work beyond the CRM extension. I've put over $20,000 worth of development into it. And so I can I'm see why, absolutely. Charging, I'm charging extra for that. The way it works is it can either be on a monthly basis, which will be $10 per user per month, or mm -hmm. it can be an annual basis. I'm also offering lifetime subscriptions right now. So I'm offering for an organization with unlimited users, I'm offering a lifetime license of 500 US dollars. So that'll- $500 and I get the application for life. That's right. Or well, for one user, $100. So that's the equivalent of paying $10 per month, but you get yeah, it forever. 10 months, yeah. And I'm also prepared if, if that upfront amount is too much, we can do a, a payment plan over 12 months as well. So it's quite similar to the cost of, there's another mobile app called Twi Connect that some mm -hmm. people might've used on their phones. And that one, it has at, at the same kind of cost, it's $10 per month, but it doesn't sync with Zoho CRM. So this app, it, it's the same price point, but you get much more features in it. It'll have all of your CRM contacts. And yep. any, any activity you do here will sync back to the desktop as well. Okay, so Jeremy, so this is the first feature that you're going to release. What is it? Yeah, so we've got a revamped web tab here that combines inbox and sending bulk campaigns. The inbox is for being able to reply to messages where the customer has sent something and you haven't replied yet. And that, that makes it really easy to make sure that no leads fall through the cracks. I see. So instead of going to what it used to be before, the module like 
rows and you click there and you respond, you just see it like a normal SMS system. Yeah, rather than having to go to one contact at a time, you've got all of the relevant contacts here. And when, let's say, the, 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 if you have unread messages, do you have a way to know that it was unread? Yeah, basically, if it shows up here, it means you haven't replied to it. And it mm -hmm. will stay in this view until you either reply or you click close conversation. I see. And if you close conversation, will it be gone from the list on the side? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. So basically the left on the side, the, the list on the side is all the ones that you're supposed to work on or respond to them. Yeah, that's correct. The second feature is the ability to send out bulk campaigns to more than 500 leads at a time. What What's the limit? Now, yeah, no practical no. limit. It, it should work with thousands of leads or contacts. So what is the limit for, for this feature? I've tested with 1,000, 1,200 leads and that worked perfectly. So I wow. imagine that probably it would support more than that as well. I'll continue to do further testing. So I see that you are able to also add filters. So can you create, for example, a criteria and the bulk SMS will be sent to a segment of your contacts and not all of them? Yeah, that's right. So do some criteria here. You can see it's picked up 1,000 leads. I can see also that you have add filter on the top. So I assume if you click on that, you can have also last name and email and more filters. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, so we can have lead source. Any, any field within the leads module, you'll be able to filter by there. Got it. So the next screen, I assume, will be the message itself. Yep. So you so have there. Is which number you want to send by? You can Got send it. either by SMS or WhatsApp. And here, because all of my phone numbers that I selected there have the same, all the leads have the same phone number, it's only showing one here because we want to avoid you accidentally sending out a thousand messages to the same person. So even if you had multiple contacts with the same phone number, it's only going to go out once by this screen. I see, because all the 1,000 has the same number. So yeah. if, if you have the same person multiple times in your database, you will not get multiple messages. You will get only one. Yeah, that's, I've that's had a very lot of good. people say that that's quite important for them because they'll get in trouble if they spam their leads. Yes, and I saw I saw well. it before with a different different plugin. Hmm. I, I, I saw it before and it was not 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 nice. Yeah. So yep. I see so, that you can select also a template. Yep. So you've got the templates here that you're able to edit. You can add in merge fields. You can add an attachment as well if you wanted to include a photo to go with the message. I won't be able to do it here because it will go to my Australian number, which can't accept photo messages. But if you're sending to the US, then you can attach images with your messages. Perfect. And I see that you have on the bottom, it says estimated cost. Is it the estimated cost that's coming from Twilio? Yep. So you build some kind of a calculator that can estimate how much money. And if you add attachments or it's a long message, can you still calculate the correct number? Good question. I haven't done it with attachments yet. I'll have to add that as a feature. But if, if I add more content, then you'll see the cost is going up because now basically the way it works with Twilio is you pay per segment and segments are 80 characters. That's right. I have more than 80 characters, so I have to pay more. And is your your estimated cost is based on the the two from numbers? Because I know different places in the in the in the world will pay more or less for SMS. Yeah, it will base it on the country. 
So for Australia, it costs six cents per message. For the US, it's less than one cent per message. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be, it's based on the country code of the recipient. It's able to base it off that. Very, very cool. The other thing we have here as well is the ability to schedule a message. Mm -hmm. Send later. And I can choose whether to send it in my time zone or the recipient's time zone. That's quite handy if you have contacts in multiple countries and you want to make sure you don't send it at midnight their time. You can select recipient's time zone and then choose, say, in a couple of minutes. And then I can send it out. Wow, that's, that's very cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's possible. I, I'm coming more from the email world. Is it possible to get a report of if people opened it or saw the message, something like that, or it's not really how SMS works? You can do it with WhatsApp, but not with SMS. There's no Got it. So with mind. WhatsApp, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, with SMS, all that you'll get from Twilio is it'll tell you whether it was delivered or not. Okay. Now I see that you open here the campaigns tab. When yeah. you're sending the SMS campaign from your plugin, is it creating automatically a campaign in the campaigns module? Yeah, correct. Wow. Very cool. And then you're able to see the breakdown of how many people have replied to the message, how many people who actually got the message based on delivered, how many did it fail for? If I look at, for example, this one here, 23 recipients. Mm -hmm. We can, if we click on view stats here, you can see sent to two, undelivered to four. And then if you go down here, you can see per contact the status. That's very nice. And if someone responds, can you see it also? Yeah, the status will change to replied. Is yeah, there so hopefully this new bulk SMS feature will be ready in about two weeks. And there's uh, many other smaller features that have been added and bugs that have been fixed. Wow, that's very cool. I'm, I'm excited about the bulk SMS. I know that the people were using Zoho campaigns to send the bulk SMS, but now, this option is not there anymore and they need to go to work with the marketing hub but marketing hub most people say that they are, it's buggy and not working perfectly so they are basically stuck and uh, they are not yeah. really using the bulk sms anymore so i think this feature will be very helpful for today's uh, you know problems mm. yeah as I know that you are doing also lots of work on Zoe in general, did you find that the Zoe Marketing Hub is a tool that you can work with or you feel it's not there yet? What is your feeling about Marketing Hub? It has a lot of promise, but I agree it's not quite ready yet. I tried to set up some email autoresponder sequences and I found that it was a little bit annoying that I had to duplicate each autoresponder section, I couldn't have a shared trigger that would I could link back to from multiple different scenarios. Yeah, yeah. The the general feedback that I'm getting is uh, that the concept of marketing app is phenomenal, but it's not there yet. It's not ready for real life work. Something yeah, like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Zoe is improving all the time. I'm sure also this product will be very, very good very soon. Yeah, actually, can I highlight one thing that Zoho has done well recently that has helped my users? Of course. So the, the way that it works if you want to do a automated SMS is you use a workflow rule and you mm -hmm. have a, a create record action. Yes. Which for a long time only worked if you wanted to send a message once, but if you wanted to do a drip marketing campaign where you send a, an SMS once and then maybe two days later, you send another SMS. Mm -hmm. That was really hard to get working. But now 
just a couple of days ago, they released the ability under scheduled actions to also have create record actions. You can see here in this oh, example. Oh, that's cool. So you, now you can do create record also from the scheduled actions. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. That's very cool. Yeah, literally only came out, I think, Friday last week. That's very, very good. So yeah, mm -hmm. so now, now you can do a drip campaign with SMS. Yeah. Very, you very cool. Probably make it instead of 10 minutes, you might make yeah. it two days afterwards. Right. Yeah. And if and if someone replies, can you? Yes, you can. So you can create. So let's say that you have your drip campaign that's supposed to trigger only if the person did not respond to any of the messages. Yeah. So basically, you create another workflow that when someone is responding to SMS, then it will raise a flag. And if this flag is on, it will not proceed with the scheduled actions, right? Yeah, you don't even need another workflow. The extension comes with a field called number of inbound Twilio messages. And you can see so here. You're the... And that's automatically being done. Yeah. Very cool. And the number of inbound Twilio messages is part of the contact or the lead? Yeah. I see. Wow, I'm I'm looking forward for this uh, for this uh, update, my friend. V looks very very good. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I'm very very happy that I'm I'm promoting your plugin, uh, Jeremy. You're you're awesome, and you know I'm I'm looking forward for this revision. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for for your time today. Likewise. Mm -hmm.